Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Chris and uh, my YouTube channel is all about chasing tones. So if we've not met before, welcome. So today I just wanted to introduce you to my new 28 year old ESP M2 Deluxe. It's an absolutely beautiful guitar. It's got a lot of battle scars on it, as you can probably see there. My plan was initially was to buy this and load it with a sustainer and get it painted by my friend Rich. Um, but since since I got the guitar, I actually really like the finish. It was initially blue, I think, um, back in the 90s, but the, the original owner um, stripped it and went with a wood colour, and it looks really nice in person, to be honest. I'm not really a massive fan of wood, but it's got so many scars on it <laughs> that it would be almost sacrilegious to, to get rid of those cars by sort of painting it so I'm going to keep it as is I'm going to still think about putting a sustainer in it but I'm not entirely sure at the moment so what we've got is an older body and we've got a Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge and we've got a Kent Armstrong stacked humbucker in the neck which is really nice we've got a maple neck and rosewood fretboard um, it's really really nice it's beautiful um, it's obviously reverse headstock and I really, really like these cars. Ever since I saw Cunning Stunts in 96 with Kirk Hammett with his, uh, with his ESP, with his reverse headstock, I was absolutely a massive fan. I've actually got another ESP M2 as well. Um, so yeah, I'm a massive fan of these guitars. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I've never really owned a guitar that's that old before. And I was really curious as to what I was gonna get. But to be honest, this is a, is a beautiful guitar. It plays so well. And uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a couple of couple of tones for you really just so you can check it out see what what it's all about really so here we go <laughs> thing I do really notice about this guitar is that it's quite dark sounding which surprised me given that it's got a maple neck and an older body um, but even when I play it acoustically that's a word acoustically oh my god even when I play it acoustically it's quite dark as well I don't know if that's being picked up but but it is quite dark um, but it's incredibly resonant though. It's really interesting. If I, if I touch the body, if I touch the Floyd Rose, I can feel everything, or I can feel all the vibrations. So it's an incredibly resonant guitar. And on the, on the note of uh, the Floyd Rose, this is a license under Floyd Rose, but it's made by Schala. And it's made in Germany. And it's, it's, I wouldn't know it's any kind of difference from the Floyd Rose that I've got really. Um, but it is really interesting because it's, you can feel everything through it, which is quite amazing really. It's got a brass block on the back. You can see that there. The neck feels beautiful. It's quite thin, um, but it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as thin or as wide as my other ESP M2. It feels really, really nice in the hands. It's not too thin. Um, got a little bit of meat to it, but not, but not too much, just perfect. Real kind of like Shredder's Dream, if you like. Um, got ESP uh, tuners on it, and yeah, it's it's. I'm really impressed with it. It's, I'm really pleased that I got it. It's, it's beautiful. So play a bit bit of rhythm, bit of leaves, bit of clean, and yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs>
it's really nice. It's quite woody, throaty. <laughs> What I notice is that this is a very easy guitar to play. So some guitars, you probably know yourself, you have to quite work hard, uh, which sometimes can be really pleasing, but in this case, it, it, it's quite buttery to play. It almost kind of plays itself, if you like, uh, which I quite like, to be honest. It's not hard work. <laughs> Do a couple of the, uh, clean sounds. So the, the neck pickup sounds really, really nice and clean, really beautiful, quite chiming. Really, really nice. Now, if I, if I blend the two, it almost sounds a little bit out of phase. It sounds a little bit weird, I think. It sounds a bit sort of telly esque. Now, I haven't sort of messed with any electrics at all. This is just as it came, so I might need to kind of explore to see what that's about. But it doesn't really, it sounds quite cool, but I don't know how usable it'd be because there's such a big volume difference. If I play that, go over to the neck pickup, or the bridge. It's quite weak. So there you go guys, thanks for checking out my ESP M2 with me. Um, I'm really happy that I bought it. So I think the guitar sounds absolutely beautiful. I think it's very powerful sounding. It's quite dark, but it's very growly. It's got that kind of growl, which I really like. And it really lends itself well to my, my Bogner as well, because that's got a bit of a growl as well. So it's quite a good good blend, really. So thanks for checking that out with me, guys. And um, if, you're, if, you, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, then uh, that would really help the channel out. So, you know, please, please consider that, um, should you want to. Um, but more than that, guys, take care, keep playing. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Take care.